In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a modded Skyrim environment with Mod Organizer 2 on Linux. I'm also going to show how you can set up Nexus Mods NXM link handling so that you can import mods directly in a Mod Organizer. And I'm going to show you how to set up SKSC and Loot. And hopefully with all four of those components, you should be able, should be able to start modding uh, Skyrim on Linux as easily as if you were on Windows. So uh, let's get started. The first thing you need is to set up a, uh, a prefix and the prefix is basically the environment in which um, the Windows like environment in which uh, Windows programs are going to be running and you could set this up anywhere. I'm going, to, I'm going to use a specific directory where I keep my prefixes. So just make a folder somewhere I'm going to call mine tutorial and then use the wine prefix variable to basically um, basically specify it. So local share wine prefixes uh, tutorial and then wine is the command and we're going to use wine uh, init. And this should take uh, maybe 30 seconds. Okay, so the next step is to install a couple of things into your newly created wine prefix. So to do that, we're going to use the same wine prefix variable, and then we're going to specify wine tricks, and then we're going to use uh, we're going to, we're going to install VC run, so Visual C plus plus runtime, uh, 2019, and uh, .NET 40. Oops, and this will. Uh, take a few minutes and you'll be prompted uh, to click on a few things uh, as it installs these. So uh, I'm just going to speed through the video at this point. Okay, so with that done, I'm going to move over to Lutris and uh, we're going to set up a Mod Organizer 2 shortcut here. But before we do that, there's one thing we need and that's a custom version of Wine uh, because Mod Organizer does not play nice with most versions. Uh, luckily, uh, Lutris makes it very easy to get this. So just go to Manage Runners, scroll down, Find Wine, Click on Manage for Versions, and then the version you want is Lutris 5.0. You can also get Lutris 4.21, but um, I think Lutris 5.0 works better. It's a bigger number, bigger number better, right? So just pick that, and uh, it will download. So once that's ready, basically we're going to add the shortcut. So give it a name, select Wine, uh, give it the um, the exe file. So this is uh, let's see, give it the uh, prefix um, and in the runner options select the uh, version Lutris 5.0 and make sure that DXVK and eSync are both enabled. And the reason you want to have these enabled is that uh, Skyrim will be launched from Mod Organizer. So you need to have these settings enabled in Mod Organizer for them to be active when you're playing Skyrim. Um, and with those ready, uh, let's, uh, let's launch this. And you're going to get a couple, a couple of errors. Just uh, click OK, ignore them. Uh, go to 
portable. Click browse. Find your um, find your um, actual uh, Skyrim. Um, well, that's not right. Uh, find your uh, Skyrim installation folder. So in this case, uh, this is it. Uh, click yes to this. Make sure that uh, this panel has your DLCs and that it's able to uh, find everything. Um, for some reason, I had previously set up SKSC and I had forgotten to uh, remove it for the purpose of this tutorial. Uh, so uh, I will be setting that up again, even though that's already here. Okay, so the next step would be to go to the settings tab uh, or panel. And this is actually going to crash uh, Mod Organizer the first time you press it. Uh, which is totally okay because next time you run it, it will work. Okay, go over to the Nexus tab. We're going to set up Nexus Mods integration now. Uh, if you click on this button, Connect to Nexus, it will probably stall. I've had success with that, but um, it's not working at the moment, so we're just going to do it manually by entering the API key. Uh, to get this, basically just go to your account go to the API tab, scroll down, request an API key, click on this button, highlight it, copy it, and go back, paste it in here, and boom, it's ready. Make sure we're associating uh, with NXM links, and restart. Uh, now that's not sufficient to get this working. Uh, there's a couple things you have to do. So let's go back here and just a little reminder, if, uh, the way that this works is that there's actually an NXM handler exe file and that's the default program for NXM links on Windows. Uh, on Linux, we cannot really set a wine program as the default uh, program as far as I know. Um, so what I'd have is basically a script which is called uh, NXM handler. Also, this mod program is just a script that I wrote that will take me here. Uh, and basically, all it's doing is running the NXM handler script, the exe script, I mean, uh, with a few settings. We have to have esync on because uh, otherwise it won't play well with mod organizer, which also has esync. Uh, we'll have to set the correct prefix the correct prefix and also the same um, the same version of, of wine. And then we basically run the NXM handler exe with whatever argument um, has been passed to it. And there's also to go with this a uh, um, an actual desktop file which basically just runs the uh, Linux script and uh, to set the desktop file as the uh, default, you just need to run um, xdg-mime default, and then uh, nxm.desktop, and then xscheme handler nxm, uh, and that will do it. Um, so now, with that set up, if it works, I should be able to basically go here uh, click on a mod manager uh, download button, click on this, and um, check to see if it works. And it did, which is great. Uh, so now I can move on to the next thing, uh, which would be installing SKSC. And I already mentioned that uh, I had done this previously, and then I had forgotten about it. Uh, so I didn't actually uh, undo it. So we'll just quickly set this up again. Uh, we're just going to copy the um, DLL files and the exe file. And we're going to move them to the um, Skyrim SC folder. And there's one more thing, which is the data folder. And I'm also going to move that. And that will set it up. And to test that, uh, 
basically just launch SKSE. Uh, it didn't appear to have worked. Uh, well, uh, I think I needed to actually run the Skyrim Special Edition launcher and uh, that should initialize Skyrim first. Oh, it looks like actually I didn't need to do that. Um, SKSC was just taking its time. So we can type in get SKSC version and it uh, if it outputs anything, then SKSC is running, so we can quit out. And uh, back on this screen, uh, you probably want to do this anyway. You want to initiali initialize uh, Skyrim. It didn't recognize my hardware, so I'm just going to manually select Ultra. Uh, you want to do this, otherwise you're going to get errors if you run like loot and other uh, programs because they're going to wonder where Skyrim is installed and um, it and and, and it may, they may not find it and that would uh, be kind of annoying so uh, just run the launcher once uh, now there's one more thing we need to do uh, before I finish this finish the tutorial which is uh, we want to run uh, loot and when you run a program like loot you always want to make sure you specify uh, your prefix uh, so in this case, it's local share wine prefixes tutorial. Oops. And the reason you do this, uh, this only matters for the, the installation really, uh, uh, is because uh, I need to close this. Nope. Let me close all wine processes, processes. Okay, that did it. Uh, the reason, reason you need to specify the wine prefix uh, is that uh, when it installs, it will basically register itself within the prefix. Uh, and that's how Mod Organizer actually knows uh, where loot is. Uh, and you need to do this for basically any mod tool that comes with its own installer. And uh, I'm going to write it into the same folder, really, where I keep all the other stuff. So that would be in the Z drive, because the Z drive is basically a virtual map to your Linux uh, root directory. So, and keep in mind, this is Windows, so you have to use backslashes. Um, that looks right. And it's going to write uh, loot there and I'm going to try it out in a second. And we don't want to launch it from here. Uh, we want to basically go back to Model Organizer 2 to see if it's been recognized. And you'll get these errors again because you uh, uh, every time you run a different wine version in the prefix it might uh, cause a few errors like that, but it's fine. Uh, and we'll see here that actually loot is. Uh, I'm gonna move. Oops, I'm gonna move this over there. Uh, the loot is uh, is here, so we can run it. And it seems to think it needs steam, uh, but it doesn't. And it recognized everything. So basically, I'm gonna close this out. Uh, and so this has been. This has been everything that I wanted to show. Uh, there is um, uh, there is one more thing. Uh, just to get, just to give you an idea, uh, let's make sure everything's closed. Uh, I uh, have modded my own Skyrim installation uh, wholly on Linux, and I just want to show it off.
and uh, let me move this. So, you know, you can basically do everything you would uh, normally do uh, that you would you would normally do on um, on Windows on Linux now, which is great because uh, a lot of the existing tutorials basically use uh, they use like Vortex or uh, the original mod organizer, and a lot of the tools don't work, and they and they get you know the game running, and they might get a few mods, but you know really it's not the uh, the best experience. So hopefully this tutorial has helped people, uh, you know, get everything running so they can get a nice installation of Skyrim or Fallout or any other game that Mod Organizer supports on Linux. So uh, thank you and uh, like and subscribe, I guess.